Recently, I was testing a new fountain ink and made some photos. Here is a photo I took with my camera. As you see, the photo is too dark and messy. In this video, let's see how we can clean up scans or photos with text or writings on paper. Let's first make a copy of the original photo and open it up in a new document. We can easily do this by copying the original image layer and then use the file menu New Document from Clipboard. Before moving on, let's also make a duplicate of the original and leave this at the top for comparison later. First thing we need to do is to brighten up the image. This is going to be a two step process. I will start by adding a levels adjustment and then modify the output level so we get a more grayish and flat image. If we look at the before and the after, we can see that we have removed the extreme whites and blacks from the image. This creates a nice base for the next adjustment. I call this the level zero or the curves zero adjustment and hopefully I will make a video on this subject in the future. Anyway, now that we have a more neutral image, I can continue by adding a curves adjustment which will be used to really brighten up the background and set some colors back. Basically, you try to get the black and the white points fit in the histogram and move the midpoint up. That looks much better already and depending on your situation, this might be a good end result. However, in my image, if we look closely, we still have some gray noise, especially close to the corners. To get rid of them, I will use an erase white paper effect. We can do this by adding a live procedural texture filter. Let's make sure it's on top of the other layers we just added. To create the erase white paper effect, we need to add an equation and have it apply to the alpha channel by making sure that the A is selected in the equation. Let's also not forget to turn off the R channel. The formula we are going to use is as follows. 1 minus the minimum of the R, G and B. When we apply this formula, we immediately see the effect. The whites in the image have been erased. It also affected the written text. So let's fix that by modifying the blend range of this filter. By removing its filter on the darker areas, we get more back of the text. Nice. As we also lost the white background, let's add a new one by adding a white fill layer. When we move the fill layer to the bottom, you will notice that this one also gets cleared because of the procedural filter on top of the layer stack. In order to fix that, we need to make sure that this live filter gets contained and stops at the image. To do that, we can select the layers above the fill layer and group them. By making a group, the effect of the procedural filter will stop at the image now and we get a nice clean white background. Let's quickly look at the before and the after. If we switch back to the end result, we see that the text is cleaned too much. To fix that, we can go to the curves adjustment and lower the midtones. That looks awesome. We still have some noise around the edges, but we can easily fix that by adding a pixel layer to the group and paint the unwanted areas in white. Nice, a pretty good end result. Here are a couple of additional tips. If we want more color, I can add a selective color adjustment above the level adjustment and lower the blacks in the white. This has no effect right now, but when I change the blend mode to screen, we get some brighter colors. The effect is of course too much, and to fix that, I'm going to modify the blend range of this adjustment. This looks about right, pretty cool. Another tip, which might work better in some cases, is to use two curves adjustments compensating each other instead of one curves adjustment we have right now. Let me demonstrate what I mean, but first 
I will need to lower the midtones in the first curves layer. Now I can set its blend mode to screen. This has brightened up the image and to compensate for that and to get the deep colors back, I can duplicate this adjustment and change the blend mode of it to multiply. This will compensate and fix the first curves adjustment we applied in screen blend mode. It will bring back the contrast and the colors. Let's have a look at where we started from and at our end result. Pretty neat. I hope you like this technique and hopefully it will be useful for you. Thank you for watching and until the next video.